sure I know this one. Oh, I'm actually. sure you do. You heard it. So, okay. I worked at night. I, I worked in a bar. I remember. I worked very late. I would usually get off work about 3 o'clock in the morning. And when I did, I'd be drunk. Yes. All good. I'd go home. Well, in this case, instead of going home, I went to the airport and I got on a plane and they flew me six and a half hours. Now, mind you, I'm a two and a half pack a day smoker, which you were somewhere right around there at the same thing at the time, right? Pack and a half a day. Right? Yeah. And, and, and two and a half packs is, we were very nearly lighting one off the one before, right? Pretty much. Nicotine addiction can become a very serious monkey on top of your back going like this. Yeah yeah, 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 and it's an unpleasant it's a long thing. flight stuff. Six and a half, yeah, six and a half hours. It was the yeah. day before the patch, so I was, yeah. you know, I was having what I like to refer to as a, a chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. You were no longer dealing with me. You were dealing with my representative, Bubba, and he was pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> you were dealing with Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so six and a half hour flight, and then we circled the airport for a half an hour, and then they put us in uh, customs. Uh -huh. So 45 minute wait in customs, right? In the meantime, yeah. I'm just asking the people, can I just go right outside right there? I just really need to have a cigarette. I know I can't smoke here, and I'm not foolish enough to go smoke in the bathroom because I know somebody's going to you know, I mean, we're in Canada, yeah, and the yeah. guy's going to go, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. hey, you know? E. <laughs> so I'm like, can I, and they're like, no, no, you got to get through customs. And I'm like, so, okay, fine. So finally, I get up to the counter. And the guy asked me a question. Now, there's two answers to this question, right? And if I would have given him the right answer to this question, I would have been outside having a cigarette, and I would have been perfectly happy. But I was excited. What was the question? Are you here for business or pleasure, sir? Okay, so you, of course, said... Business. I'm excited. I'm here to shoot a movie. I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. And he goes, really? Let me see your visa. And I go, oh, I don't have the visa. The PA is supposed to have the visa. And he goes, oh, well, in that case, you're going to have to go to secondary until the PA shows up with the work visa. And I went, oh... That's not good because uh, I just I need to this. go this outside. This is why you showed up so pissed off at the house. Yes, the yes. And I, go, I remember I, you came through the door. I'm like, yo, what's up? And you're like, fucking yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you were like, hey, no, you're, you're jumping, all over Canada. You're jumping way right, ahead. Go you're go jumping ahead. way ahead. I'm not a frog. You know, come on. Yeah. So... Um, I, I have to go to secondary, and then there's this lady there that looks like the Marge lady that's the, the, the uh, secretary from Ferris Bueller, another you know, one that keeps pulling the pencils out of her hair? You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I don't he's a righteous dude. Yeah, 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 that's the lady, and she's right across from me right here, only we're in Canada. And I'm like, ma'am, could I please go out that door right now and have a cigarette? Because I'm having a chemical reaction, I'm a little freaked out. And she goes, oh, no, 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 sir. That's Canada. You can't go out there. That's and I go, Canada. I, like, <laughs> like, I've been like nine hours right now like in this journey, and I don't know where I am. I mean, thank you very much. Uh, I'm like, like please, ma'am, please. I'm begging you. May I please just go outside and have a cigarette, and you'll have a totally different person here in front of you. And she goes, no. And I said, you know what? Hey. And it was the rudest thing that you could ever say to a, to a Canadian woman in Canada in Canada what I said it? you know for a Canadian you're not very polite oh my god yeah she called security security and I'm like why do you want me to ruin a hundred percent of his day do you have something against him because if he comes <laughs> over here right now I am gonna ruin a hundred percent of his day so <laughs> Just that is pretty much the worst insult you can give to a Canadian. Is it? Yeah, no, she that. called security right off, man. She didn't have anything else to say to me. She was just looking at me like I was the Antichrist. Like, what is this heathen from... Yeah, right, that's what like, all what Americans she said, are. She knew what she was saying when she said, that's Canada. Yeah. She knew that you knew you were in Canada. Yeah. Saying, there's, there's, a little, there's, a little, there's a little leeway there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so finally, right, as, as the security was coming, Sarah Casper, God bless her, yeah, came and you're running being in deported. the door. Came running, running in the door, she waving the papers. I remember please, please, please don't arrest my actor. Right, here's my side of that. Here's my side of that. We come off a day of doing something. Yeah, and it's crazy. Yeah, Sarah comes over, and I need twelve things from her, and uh, I'm like, "All right, here's what I need," and she's like, uh, "Nope, I got to go to the airport right now," and I'm like, "Why?" And she's like, "I have to get one of your actors," <laughs> and I'm like, D -d -d "There's a, there's isn't there like other people that go grab actors?" She's like, "It's Scotty." I was like, "All right, go," but what's happening? 
And she's like, some really fucked up shit is happening. <laughs> he doesn't have a fucking visa. He doesn't have a fucking visa. I have a fucking visa. And she's yelling, screaming. And she just runs out like she's saying shit while she's leaving, right? She, and, I, and then the door shuts. And I think she was stammering all the way down the car. Right. I didn't get it. But then uh, maybe an hour or two later, you come through the door. We're all Hang on a minute. Hang on house. a minute. Hang on a minute. So... Finally, she does the whole thing, and this lady is looking at me the whole time, but not saying anything, just processing the paperwork. You know what she was saying in her head. Yeah, and, and she's just looking at me the whole time. Polite. Right, right. She's just looking at me. So finally, I get my stuff, and I'm like, "Thanks very much." And I go walking out. I'm outside the front door now. I'm in Canada. You know, I'm I'm in Canada. In right? Canada. And I'm having this cigarette, and I'm blowing the smoke right at the window while I'm still locked eyes. Right, let me ask you a question: Is it even is it even feeling good at this point when you have the cigarette or did this whole experience ruin the first cigarette in nine hours no that cigarette was purely for maintenance i had to smoke like three more just to get back to so the you didn't even get any zero. Zero. no feeling. nothing nothing no. and i was still so pissed off that i wouldn't no and so then i get in the car and, and she's like come on and i'm like okay so we get in the car and then i'm trying to light another cigarette she's like don't smoke in this car it's a rental i'm like fuck you I'm, a, you know, a nice enough guy that I don't light up a cigarette in the oh car. Oh, my but God. Now I would I'm have still, been like, pull over. Bro, I'm still hot by the time we get to the house because yeah, I, I didn't know. get I to remember. have another one. So right, I this is where our stories converge. Because <laughs> we, we had some kind of wonderful, awesome shit happen that day. And we were all just like You guys shot the butcher shop. Oh, we shot the butcher shop that yeah. day. All right, so like the opening. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we had some we had some awesome stuff on that. And uh, Doc Marie Jones did mm. great, man. The sweetest thing. And she was arm wrestling. By the way, you know she's like the like seventeen times in a row she won the Olympics female arm wrestling champion. And uh, she was arm wrestling dudes on set and this one guy beat her and I was like, That doesn't even count. She's gone through twenty three dudes yeah, by this point. Bro. And they, up he comes all fresh as a daisy. Yeah. And I was like, you you, you kinda just deleted your own triumph there yeah no uh, I, I remember i was uh, asked if i wanted to arm wrestle with dot and i said no yeah. i'll keep my nuts very firmly yeah. in my pants yeah i don't even want to know i don't need her to i don't even want to know me. if i can <laughs> i probably can't beat her but i don't want to know her if shoulders I can't beat were very nearly as wide as mine back in the day she she's just so she was she, a giant woman and she, so uh, nice so so nice you know she played the gym teacher in uh glee glee yeah yeah yeah, yeah. ran into her a couple of months ago at the la at the LA Film Fest down here. I was just walking around with Sam and there she is at a booth signing autographs. Oh, oh that's man. awesome.